What's up? I'm back. It's been a while since I've made a video for this channel. And this, I was going to say this podcast, I'm getting used to the podcast setup now. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to talk about Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. I just finished watching Jessica Jones. And I can't say I just finished watching it. I watched it about a while ago, but for my podcast, I was reviewing every two episodes a week. So, you know, for the most part, I finished it, but I've, I kept rewatching it just to see stuff I missed or just to make sure that when I'm covering it, I got every angle. And I got to say, Jessica Jones was probably better than I expected. I don't think it was better than Daredevil, per se. In fact, I know it wasn't better than Daredevil, but I, I think if you are a, if you are a non-comic book fan, like if, if somebody tells you, you know, I'm tired of comic book movies, I'm tired of comic book TV shows... Both of them, Daredevil and Jessica Jones, probably work. And I think that's what's the appeal of Marvel Netflix shows. It's a big break from their movie style. And I can't lie. it's. I will be curious to see how the setup is. If it's like Marvel, obviously they own the characters. So obviously they probably own the shows. But does Netflix get a cut? I know Netflix gets a cut. But does Netflix, does the shows, are they also Netflix properties? The reason why I say that is because when I watch the Netflix shows on Marvel, it doesn't feel like Disney at all. Like when I watch the Marvel movies on T on the screen, I could tell Disney owns it. You could tell, and especially when Star Wars just happened, which is also owned by Disney, and it felt like a Marvel movie. So I I liked that the Netflix, the, the Jessica Jones in general, were kind of veered in a different direction. Daredevil too, and I think both shows. If someone tells you they're tired of comic books, movies, TV shows. Make them watch those shows and see what they say. And then I'll even make the argument. Jessica Jones, even... She even comes off better to the non-comic fan than even Daredevil does. Daredevil, to me, is a better show. Well, because, you know, he had, he has a costume on and stuff like that. I can see non, non-comic fans who are tired of comic book movies and TV shows. Some of them may not like Daredevil. But I think Jessica Jones, considering it's a show that's with a female character... And it still came off gritty. Very nice. Very well done. I have to admit by everyone involved. Luke Cage was... A, I, I, liked, I liked his stuff too on, 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 the, on the show. And I, le- I look forward to Luke Cage's show. It was funny. Luke Cage's TV show, I wasn't really... I didn't know what to expect. But now that Marvel's two for two when it comes to their Netflix stuff, I expect Daredevil's... I mean Daredevil. Luke Cage's show to be well. To do well. To be good. And it's interesting to me too because they also have it where... Iron Fist, which they just cast, um, the dude from the Game of Thrones, the dude who plays, the gay guy who plays, uh, I know he's a Tyrell, I forgot his first name, I think Loris, so Loris, Loris Tyrell, he's going to be Iron Fist, don't like the, I don't really like the casting choice, but I'm excited though because I heard that he's going to be on Netflix, well, on Luke Cage, the last episode of Luke Cage, Iron Fist should appear. So that's going to be cool. Because anybody who reads the comics know that Luke Cage and Iron Fist are actually pretty cool with each other. They both appear in Heroes for Hire. They both create Heroes for Hire. So I, I expect Iron, uh, Luke, Fist, Luke, Luke Cage. My God, I'm saying Luke Fist, right? I expect Luke Cage's show to be really good because I think if, you really, if, if Marvel really wants to solidify their control and really build a Netflix TV empire, Luke Cage is probably the hardest of the of the three. Only because Daredevil is obviously the most popular. Jessica Jones is the first female character. And you know how stuff goes. With a black character, you have a lot more pressure to do it right. You know, they're gonna have a set up um Luke Cage, his show's gonna actually take place in Harlem. So when we seen Luke Cage and, and Jessica Jones, he was in Hell's Kitchen, but now it's gonna go take place uptown. So it's more challenging because I mean you know, it is what it is. They're going to have pressure for his black... Not the first, but I mean, I can't remember really a black TV superhero show. Off the top of my head. I really can't remember it. L- lead character. And also because it, it, it's a racist world. So you would have some people who say, I don't really want to watch a black um, <laughs> superhero. And again, I don't expect comic book fans to do that. But you might get that sometimes. So you have to kind of go... So when so when they do Luke Cage. And Luke Cage, if, they, if it could pop off in a good way. Then I think everything else is easy because Iron Fist to me, I know it was a lot of they had they went through a lot of trouble like with casting, but I expect Iron Fist to be freaking out of this world, right? So to me, if you would have told me those four TV series, I'd have been like, 
it's funny. I like Luke Cage much better than all the characters. So here's the funny part. Luke Cage, Iron Fist, out of those four characters are my favorite. But I got to say, um, and again, when I say that he was my favorite, it's not really saying much because <laughs> uh, I never was really dead of a guy. Jeff definitely wasn't Jessica Jones' guy. Iron Fist, I actually used to like a little better than Luke Cage in the comics. Um, but no question, I think that if you could if you could pull off Luke Cage, everything else is punk and pie after that point especially since we see that punisher is going to be on daredevil so i'm pre i'm pretty sure punisher is going to have his own tv series as well the cool thing about it is with it, what the marvel netflix empire is each show that comes out you can really solidify marvel's range because when daredevil was out it was only daredevil right now jessica jones was out you had jessica jones and luke cage in the show so each show you can add a character add a cameo that's the real key. So with with Luke, with Luke Cage's show, we know Jessica Jones will probably, probably be there a few episodes. I would hope. Well, we know not Iron Fist is going to be there a couple episodes. It would be awesome if Daredevil or Punisher or both will be there. So every single time we expand, they expand because you could add more cameos, which which means really the hardest part of this project, about Marvel's Netflix project, was to actually get those shows off. Now that the shows are there, they really can't be stopped. So good job, Jessica Jones. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give the complete series an 8. So this has been Cyrus King. Till next time, peace.